An 11 year old boy and a teenage girl are recovering tonight after being hit by gunfire inside their own home. At least nine bullets likely hit this front window and the gunfire wounded the siblings inside. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains why police know this residence where it happened all too well. Just after six in the morning, neighbors here on North Bevel heard gunshots and called police to this home where officers found an 11 year old boy and an 18 year old girl wounded by gunshots that were fired from outside. There's absolutely no reason for this senseless violence. Police could not say if the home was targeted, but according to police reports we found three days ago, officers were called to an arson at the same home after a car was set on fire and last month someone broke into and burglarized the home as well. It is disheartening uh, that our children have to endure um, senseless violence of this nature. Of course it pierces my heart because that's the same exact way that my son DeAndre Knox was shot and critically wounded over eight years ago. A stray bullet flew into a home and pierced straight in the back of his head. DeAndre doesn't know the family on Bevel, but she runs a nonprofit to assist families impacted by gun violence because her son was paralyzed by a stray bullet and she's not alone. In recent years, several other kids have been wounded or killed by stray bullets. In March 2020, eight-year-old Roderick Payne Jr. died after being shot while eating dinner inside his home on North Tacoma. Last May, 12-year-old Deshaun Bills was killed playing video games inside his grandmother's home on Leland Avenue. He too was hit by a stray bullet fired from outside that home. It's happening way too often here in Indianapolis, so consider what would you do if it was your family. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. So far, no arrests have been made from this shooting, but anyone with information on this case or the unsolved homicides is asked to contact either IMPD's Homicide Office or Crime Stoppers.